Hello everyone, Emax here. Welcome to another Destiny video. I haven't posted a Destiny... Well, actually, I have posted a Destiny video in recent. But I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, but, as you can see by the title, Private Matches are finally here. This is going to be my first time actually ever experiencing it. I was watching the stream earlier, which was the MLG tournament between Primal and a bunch of other teams. I don't know who won because I was in school and I could only watch it during like lunch or something. But I'll try to catch up to that later. So yeah, this is going to be my first time actually experiencing this, so it'll be my first time with you guys as well. Hope the microphone quality isn't too bad. Let's go ahead and check it out. Um, I think it's within Crucible. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, finally, what everyone's been waiting for, and what everyone's been asking for all these time, uh, private matches, clan, no affiliation. You could switch teams, as you can see, pretty much like normal private matches. They said it's not really a full custom games, but you know, private matches, game type skirmish. Uh, as you can see, there's like, uh, the game types you could choose. There are a ton of game types actually. Map, you can choose many different maps. There are up to like 30 maps you could choose. Score limit, time limit, light level. Okay, this is one thing that's really, really good. I'm not sure if they were uh, enabled. I'm pretty sure they should be disabled when they were playing uh, at the tournament because that would just make everything more fair and balanced. Uh, light level should be disabled. I, honestly, that's what I feel like. And um, yeah, everything looks freaking. Everything looks good. Uh, you could switch teams and everything. Um, it says Emacs Destroyers private match, no clan affiliation. Um, I think that's because uh, for the uh, update they disabled uh, clan. Uh, what do you call it? Just pretty much anything with clans or whatever they disabled it. So. I don't, I don't know if there's some sort of spectator mode, but they were doing it at the, uh, at the MLG event, so I guess there is. I'm not sure exactly. It doesn't really tell me what team I'm on. It says orange, which is, I believe is like Bravo, and then I believe this. I, I'm not sure. Okay, there are only two teams then, I suppose. But yeah, blue and orange, blue and red, whatever. Um, doesn't say anything about spectator. I don't know how they did it, but I mean. They did it somehow. But anyway, let's go ahead and launch into the game. Let's see if anything is different, if anything, uh, if anything is going to make any sort of changes. I'm pretty sure it's going to be just like any other Crucible match. Just this time it's going to be private match. And the fun thing is that today, since they just announced Cru uh, Crucible private matches, my friends and I uh, from Lightrich or whatever, um, which is a co competitive card team, we also play Destiny. We're actually going to do like 2v2s against each other. Uh, just a little fun thing. And then later on, when the you know Rise of Iron actually comes out, we're gonna be doing ML, uh, MLG tournaments and, that, and stuff on that. Just you know something we could do before um, before we turn 18, so we could actually focus on uh, competitive Call of Duty. Control. So I am on Alpha Team. Everything looks Time to pretty much. Fight, guardians. I'm sorry guys, I'm eating right now. <laughs> I'm eating right now. Everything's pretty much the same, honestly. I, just, I should not be using that sniper if I was to play PV, PvE. And PvP, I mean. But yeah. Everything looks pretty much the same. Um, They were playing a 6v6, which I'm not sure if that's going to be final. Because honestly, Destiny, mainly uh, competitive Destiny, like uh, Trials of Osiris, is 3v3. And, I mean, 3v3 seems a bit small, but then 6v6 just seems a bit too much. Maybe they should just go with the standard 4v4, you know, that would make more sense. Like any other esports, 6v6 just seems like a little too extreme. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not, I mean, you can actually, uh, I forgot to show you guys. That's my bad. I forgot to show you, but you can actually, um, you could actually end up switching like the time of day within the maps and stuff like that. Whatever maps that uh, allows it, you could switch the time of day, you could uh, switch the weather. Let me go ahead and show you guys really quick before I end this video. It said map, uh, normally, right? Let me ch let me change it to something where you could actually change the time of day. Um, okay, maybe it's... The, okay, let's choose, let's just choose this one even though... Oh, actually, no. Let's choose the Burning Shrine, which is one of the most popular... Actually, no, not that. I'm trying to choose something that everyone really loves, everyone that plays a lot. Um... I try to choose, uh, what do you call? oh yeah, there we go, Pantheon. Everyone plays Pantheon, right? I'm not sure if it works on Pantheon or not, though. Um, let me just choose Rusted Lands. Rusted Lands is a pretty, pretty known map. Choose Rusted Lands, and then I believe, 
I don't know where exactly. Oh, here we go. Time of day, morning, night, morning, afternoon, default. So it depends on what map actually supports it. Um, I don't know if every map supports it. I don't. Let me check. For example, the anomaly. Yeah, see, it, time of day is not even there anymore. So yeah, that's pretty much all that is to it. I mean, Destiny 2 apparently is supposed to come out next year, so I'm pretty sure that's going to have more esports features and like private matches. It's going to be a full-fledged bungee game. I mean, Halo had private matches, not even just private matches, full-on custom games, theater mode. The, Halo was the game that pretty much made theater mode popular for them, Call of Duty, to put theater mode in their game and everything. So yeah, that's pretty much it to this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something little to it today. Uh, if you didn't remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, I'll try to post some videos of um, some private match gameplay or maybe some competitive gameplay since this is going to allow more competitive, um, the competitive scene of Destiny to grow, which already is kind of growing because when they were doing that tournament, um, the Twitch stream had like 60k views and that was only on the that was only on Twitch. They actually were there was also they were also you know streaming it on MLG.TV, which I don't know how many views that had, but yeah. If you guys the video, if you did, remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Emax the Destroyer, you've just been destroyed. I'll see you guys in the next video.